Hey guys, welcome back. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing and demonstrating how to use Amsoil's engine flush. We're going to be using this on a 2006 Toyota Tundra, and this has the 4 liter V6. Um, if you remember back exactly a year ago when I did the oil change, I took the mobile one out that had 700 miles on it and replaced it with the Amsoil Signature Series 5W30. Uh, I did not have the engine flush at the time so i wanted to go ahead and do this because it has been exactly 365 days and we're going to go ahead and change the oil i'll do that in another video but um i probably do not need to do this because this truck has had an oil change every 5,000 miles its entire life so uh, the relative of mine that owned this was extremely diligent with uh, the maintenance so we're going to be doing this anyway just because it had whatever the dealership used and then it had mobile one for a while so we're going to be doing this so i'm going to show you how to do that it's very easy but there's a couple things that you need to be mindful of all right so first thing before you do this remember that after the idle time which is between 10 and 15 minutes with the flush in the engine you must change the oil immediately the oil in the filter immediately uh, do not drive the vehicle with the engine flush in there you want to let it sit there and idle only no racing the engine just let it sit there and idle so we'll take the uh, filler cap off open the bottle of ams oil take the safety seal off i'm going to pour it right in there just like that the whole bottle Okay. Once you have the entire contents in the engine, replace the oil filler cap. Start the engine. Alright, so it's been 14 minutes and 30 seconds. So, what do you do next? Well, you gotta change your oil and filter. So I'm gonna do that in another video. I wanted to show you guys uh, the procedure. I know some people may not understand what the engine flush does. It tries to, or it removes uh, sludge and engine deposits and stuff like that. So um, you can go on Amazon's website and look it up. But yeah, after you do that, let it uh, let it run for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and change the oil. So I'll be doing a uh, another video on that separately because I have a couple things I need to talk to you guys about. And thank you for watching this video.